on Glee. Quinn's got a new look and a new crowd of skanks. Kurt got Blaine to join the New Directions, which is good because Santana got kicked out and Sugar Mata wasn't good enough to get in. Who cares what you think? McKinley's doing West Side Story and Kurt and Rachel need the lead so they can get into Nyata. Sue's using her run for Congress to come after the arts. Believe it or not, still not a big fan of the Glee Club. Emma's living with Will, which has really helped her OCD, which is good because she's helping Artie and Beast direct West Side Story. Rachel seems like a shoo-in for Maria and Kurt's running for class president so he can get into Nyata. I think you in advance for your vote. But Britney quit as its campaign manager so she could run too. I'm also a unicorn. That's so unicorn. And Dobby's back with Beth, and she's starting her own show choir at McKinley. Mercedes is on board because she's tired of Rachel and the Glee Club. I've outgrown you. The Quinn's only playing nice so she and Puck can get the baby back. Kurt and Rachel and Brittany are all running for senior class president, and Sue's running for Congress so she can cut funding for Glee Clubs everywhere. McKinley's doing West Side Story, and everyone's excited, especially Coach Beast and Emma and Artie because they're the directors. Blaine got the lead, and so did Rachel, which made Mercedes quit the Glee Club and join Shelby's Trouble Tones with Santana and Brittany. Mike Chang's playing Riff, even though his dad told him he can't be a dancer. Riff is perfect for you. I think he wants him to go to doctor college or something. Quinn and Puck want their baby back, but then Puck kissed Shelby, so now he doesn't know what side he's on. Do you want her baby back or not? Santana and Brittany have a secret thing going, and they quit the Glee Club with Mercedes to join the Trouble Tones. Awesome! More backup for me. Sue and Bert are mad at each other because they're both running for Congress. I'm too late to get on the ballot, but I can still run as a write-in candidate. And Kurt and Rachel and Brittany are all mad at each other because they're all running for class president. I will see you at the debate. Everyone's mad at each other. It's crazy. No, you're crazy! Did you airbrush out your jowl? I can't work with her! I thought I smelled blue collar. Stop! Would you turn that thing off? Coach Beast is head over heels for a guy named Cooter who's a football recruiter. Rachel's running for class president against Kurt and Brittany and a guy from the hockey team? Bo Rick the Stick! Bert's running for Congress against Sue and Reggie the Sauce, this guy who owns a pizza chain and who's gonna air a commercial that'll out Santana. Everyone's gonna know now, because of you! She thought the whole thing was Finn's fault, so she slapped him really hard in front of God and everybody. Ouch. Sam and Mercedes started secretly dating, and then he left town, and now he's back and wants her back, but Mercedes has a new man. I've moved on. Coach Beast had the hots for Cooter the football recruiter, and he liked her back, but when Sue found out, she decided she wanted Cooter all to herself. Emma's got wedding fever, but Will's a little skittish because the last time he was married, it didn't go well. Terry pretended to be pregnant. She yelled a lot. She hated the Glee Club. Sue's pregnant, which is crazy. I had my eggs frozen in the late 70s. She won't say who the father is, but insists that he's famous. Rachel and Finn decided to get married after regionals, where the New Directions beat Sebastian and the Warblers in a magical group that just sort of made everyone uncomfortable. And Sebastian made up with Blaine after he realized life's too short to blind people with rock salt. Quinn thought Rachel and Finn were too young to get married and refused to go to the wedding. Which makes me really sad because I would have loved to have seen you in a bridesmaid's dress, Quinn. But then changed her mind and started texting while she raced to the courthouse and her car got hit by a truck. Sue's helping the Glee Club win nationals so Figgins won't give the Cheerios to Roz Washington, who has bronze medals in synchronized swimming and trying to take other people's jobs. You are dumb. Sam and Mercedes were sort of dating, but she called it off in song, and it totally bummed him out. Rachel and Finn were supposed to get married, but they got in a huge fight because Rachel wants to go to New York, and Finn might want to go to L.A., and he thinks she only thinks about herself, which is sort of true, and she thinks that he's sort of lost, which is definitely true. In fact, a lot of the New Directions have no idea what they're doing, and graduation is right around the corner. They should change their name to the No Directions. Kurt and Rachel made the final cut for Nyata, which means the biggest audition of their lives is coming up if they want their big-time Broadway dreams to come true. Puck has big-time pool cleaning business dreams, but first he has to graduate. Roz Washington's been trying to steal the Cheerios from Sue, the same way Beast stole Cooter, the football recruiter, and got married after a romantic taco dinner. Rachel choked at her Nyata audition, which means she blew the biggest audition of her life. Oh, God. Which, as far as she's concerned, is now pretty much over. I had my chance, and I choked. Quinn's in a wheelchair, but her rehab's going well, partly because Joe's been going with her. Brittany probably forgot she was elected senior class president, and Puck failed his big geography exam about Iberian precipitation, which means he's not going to graduate. Kurt pulled a last-minute switcheroo for Carmen Thibodeau and nailed his Nyata audition, while Rachel tried her old Don't Rain on My Parade standby, which we've all heard now like a bajillion times, and she totally choked. Beast admitted that her husband Cooter hit her, but she lied and said she'd left him when actually she stayed. Puck isn't graduating, which he pretends not to care about. I'm too stupid. But a while back, he told everybody that graduating high school was something he was really looking forward to. The Glee Club's been ignoring Tina all year long. Tina won't mind being no, attached. No, she won't. Actually, she kind of got ignored last year, too. Actually, Tina's sort of been ignored the whole time, and she's been in the New Direction since, like, forever. The first time she got a solo, she insisted she was bad and forced Mr. Shu to give the song to Rachel, and every solo since, she's either gotten booed or started crying uncontrollably. No one noticed that she went from dressing punk to dressing goth to dressing like a go-go dancer in 60s swinging London. She even got Mike Chang into college, and she hardly got a thank you. Sometimes people don't even seem to know her name. Girl Chang, Tina Blowing Wang, Asian horror movie. The Glee Club started out as underdogs singing show tunes in the choir room, and now they're headed to Chicago to compete for a national championship. I mean, they made it to nationals last year in New York, but they came in 12th. It was sort of a nightmare. Rachel's nightmare totally came true when she choked at her Nyata audition, and literally all she's talked about for three years is New York, Broadway, Broadway Bright Dance, Dreams, Dreams Broadway. Broadway. Ugh. And that's what you missed. Do